Marco, easiest person in the world to work with. Book says, Meghan Marco is easy to work with. A new biography say, this by reports labeling the Duchess of Sussex as difficult. In their new book, Finding Freedom, royal correspondents Omid Scobie and Caroline Duran touch on the criticism directed at Marco, specifically regarding her work ethic. One of the Duchess's friends, who chose to remain anonymous, quoted in the excerpt from the book published by the UK Times saying that it seemed like the tabloids just wanted to criticize anything and everything about Marco. She's the easiest person in the world to work with, the source added. Certain people just don't like the fact that she stands out. The book explained that Marco felt that the women of color like her were labeled demanding or aggressive. If a man got up before dawn to work, he was applauded for his work ethic. If a woman did it, she was deemed difficult, the authors wrote. They appear to be referencing a 2018 Daily Mail article that refers to the Duchess as Hurricane Meghan. Marco was criticized for waking up at 5 a.m., sending out text messages to her team and having a formidable work ethic after she became a working royal. Last year, a royal expert and celebrating reporter also opened up about how royal staff reacted to Muckle's work habits. She said that Muckle's way of getting her day set up was met with raised eyebrows in the royal household. Royal staff members were certainly not expecting or happy to start getting a barrage of text message instruction at 5.30 every morning and took great umbrage and offense at all. Ashley Pearson told Entertainment Tonight, so for her, I think she was a bit shocked, certainly, that within the royal family, there's a whole different protocol when it comes to speaking to staff. The speculations about Marco being difficult to work with later worsened when she lost three ads just months after officially joining the royal family. Recently, her source claimed in a new page 6 report that Marco acted like a diva even before she became a royal. The former actress would always find something to complain about when she was still part of Seuss, their source complained. She was always having to be coaxed out of her dressing room during promotional shoots because she didn't think she looked pretty enough or her outfit wasn't right or she felt she wasn't getting prominent enough placement in the promotional pictures. The insiders say there were always tears every time. Meanwhile, Marco's father, Thomas Marco Sr., has commented on the timing of the release of Scobie and Duran's biography, Fighting Freedom, is coming out this month, but Thomas Sr. thinks now it is not the right time for this book to be released. This is the worst time in the world for them to be winning and complaining about anything because people everywhere are suffering due to the coronavirus pandemic, Muckle Sr. said.